When you stop chasing an avoidant partner, the first thing you might feel is a profound sense of anxiety and emptiness. It's like stepping back from a dance you've been leading for so long, only to realize the music hasn't stopped, but perhaps changed its rhythm. This pivotal moment can be the start of an essential transformation, leading to personal growth and emotional maturity. As challenging as this may feel, it's the beginning of exploring what you and your partner truly need from each other, beyond the chase. With the pursuit paused, a significant shift occurs. Both partners, particularly the avoidant, might start to feel a safer connection towards intimacy. It's akin to letting down a heavy guard to peek over the walls built from past hurts or fears. This newfound safety can lead to a shift in how you both interact, paving the way for more sincere and open communication. As you both start to navigate this new landscape, the relationship can begin to find a healthier, more honest footing. As the dynamics evolve, so does the dialogue between you. The avoidant partner may start taking more initiative in conversations, a change that can bring a fresh breath of honesty and willingness to engage. This isn't just talking. It's communicating with intent, listening, and responding in ways that deepen the connection. It's about building a bridge where before there might have been a wall, allowing for a dialogue that enhances the quality of your relationship significantly. This phase of adjustment is crucial as it tests the resilience and adaptability of both partners. It's a period for recalibrating expectations and approaches towards each other. For the one who has stopped chasing, it's a journey of self-discovery and reaffirmation of one's worth beyond the pursuit. For the avoidant, it's an opportunity to confront their fears and engage more profoundly than they might have believed possible. Ultimately, what emerges from stopping the chase is a more balanced, satisfying relationship. It's akin to finding a new equilibrium where both partners are more attuned to their needs and desires. This balance isn't static. It's dynamic, evolving as you both grow individually and as a couple. It's about finding harmony in the give and take, learning to dance together in a rhythm that respects both partners' boundaries and needs. As we wrap up, reflect on the journey of ceasing to chase an avoidant partner. This process, or well daunting, is a testament to the strength and maturity one can gain. It teaches us about the intricacies of intimacy, the courage and vulnerability, and the importance of self-respect in relationships. As you move forward, carry these lessons as tools for nurturing a relationship that's both fulfilling and resilient.